Hey YouTube, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, it is going to be a crazy busy week. I will be coming live on Wednesday. Um, it will probably be either Tuesday or Wednesday. And it will be around noonish. Okay. Um, and I will give you an update on what is going on. But happy full moon. Okay. It's a doozy. So um, take care of you in the meantime. And uh, again, I will come live Tuesday or Wednesday for you guys. Okay. But I am going to pull you, um, like, probably about two cards. And this is going to be your best advice. King of Wands wanted to come out, but I'm not ready. So your best advice for the next few days. This energy will be subsiding in a couple days for those who wear it. It's extremely intense. Okay. Um. If you're detaching what you're supposed to be detaching from, it's going to be a lot smoother than you think, okay? If somebody else is not detaching from a situation, not going to be as kosher as you were hoping, okay? So, but overall, do what's best for you, and in the end, it will work out. You do have the chariot, okay? Um, Self-discipline, moving forward, could be public recognition, and then you have the empress, Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you have the two of earth. You could be turning your back on a situation. Um, it could have to do with a, um, a monarchy of the family. Could be a work scenario going on here. The chariot is extremely positive. It's moving forward. It's triumphant energy. There is a lot going on, okay, at once. But again, it's, it's the full moon. So... I'm not too, too worried about that. I will tell you at the bottom of the decky though, decky, <laughs> you do have the five of air, okay? So I don't, I don't know if in the past you made an unwise choice here and it's time to learn from a situation. And you really have to review somebody's motive here, okay? So I don't know if you're juggling a Taurus Cancer. If this is, because this, this would have to be like kaputs. You're going to have to put an end to it, Okay. You got to find balance with something here. And and ironically enough, this chariot is going in this direction. So I don't know if you turn your back. But it's still going towards the past. So that's a little like, eh. You know, it, it's not the best energy. I mean, I love the chariot, but that is a depiction. Something needs to end here for you to move forward. Because you got a 7 and a 3, which comes down to a 10. It's the end. You've been juggling. Okay. Um, something definitely needs to end here with the 2 of Earth and the 5 of Air. And, and that, you know, that's a given, guys. Okay. Um, we're detaching. That's what a full moon is all about. Detaching from what no longer serves us, serves us whether, whether someone likes it or not, whether you like it or not. Um... It's, it's just the way the ball bounces, okay? So we are going into tour season, which is great, okay? And, if, and if, if this is the case, you have to. You have to clear something from the past. So, again, your best advice just here. <clears throat> Alone, in order to be triumphant, you have to clear something from the past. And I'm just, I kind of asked what you need to clear from the past, okay? So it's, it's the Six of Swords. So in order to move forward in this situation, whatever situation you're in, okay? It's almost like whatever's going down with your past, Okay, whatever's going on. You can't move forward. This is a card about, you know, lessons, moving forward, you know, stepping into what you need to step into. Okay. Um, 
especially after that fiber veil. Okay, so at one point, you, at, at, at some point in the last six months, three months, however it went down six weeks, you made a choice. And, and I don't know if you thought the grass was greener on the other side, but it was it was the wrong choice, okay? And now because of it, um, there's, because of that choice, there's, there's now consequences, okay? Um, but you need to, you need to learn from this situation and it looks like you are, but in order for you to proceed, like I said, something needs to be cleared up for you to proceed. All right. So there'll probably be some arguments this week. That's for sure. It could be regarding money or it's just somebody who's putting zero effort into a situation. Um, it, it's time to move forward. It's, it's one-sided. Okay. You do have the five of pens at the bottom of the deck with the queen of wands reverse, which is a fire sign. Um, somebody who's not putting in any effort, someone that holds back. Um, and is this is also telling me this type of energy will battle you. Aries, Leo, Sag, they, they, they will battle you as you move forward. Okay. But this is something you really need to let go of. Um, and, and they need to let go of. I don't know if the truth needs to be revealed here. You know, somebody is looking at something as winning, okay, and this is not winning. Um, so I don't know if there was a game to someone because with the five of air and the six of wands reversed, this is somebody who is looking at something like I lost, okay? This is not somebody who likes to lose. So it looks like you will be having some type of battle with a feminine or a masculine, however you want to look at this, a fire sign, possibly a Taurus or a Cancer. Okay, but this this to me is somebody from your past that is putting in zero effort, doesn't put enough effort in. She feels like she gives enough. Okay, and, it, and it's time to move forward. This energy is is blocking you from moving forward. Let me put it this way: you're blocking yourself from moving forward. Because you're allowing the other energy to interfere. Okay. Um, and, and, and again, this is somebody who didn't put enough effort. And I saw no emotions there. This is somebody who put zero emotional effort into resolving something, fixing something. It just is not panning out. It's also the end of a spiritual contract with that being reversed. Okay. So I don't even, yeah, I don't even need to get into it like that. I mean, it is as clear as day. In order for you to, you know, move forward in the direction you should be moving in, okay? It's like you learned a lesson here, but somebody else, you know, has a long road ahead of them, possibly. I'm not quite sure. But um, if you want to be triumphant, whatever is in your life where you're putting less effort, they're putting less, less effort. It's, it's, it's got to go. Okay. You got to nurture yourself. You got to take care of yourself. And it looks like there's new love. Okay. Um, an empress. So someone who's more than capable and a nurturer. Okay. Um, there's definitely some lies that need to be exposed, and it looks like the lies are about to be exposed. You might, this might be the same woman that was the fire sign reversed, and there's there's new love, or this is you, self love, which is great. But to me, with what I'm seeing here, it looks like there's there's new love, okay, and it just. Something just seven of swords reversed needs to be um, exposed. Maybe you're just finally picking yourself up, okay? Um, picking yourself up from a situation where there wasn't emotional contentment. It just it wasn't fulfilling, and you're taking care of yourself now, nurturing yourself, because this is also letting go. So you could be letting go of an empress type energy, letting go of any type energy to, to have that self-love. Now, see, it's, it's time to let go. All right. And someone is not going to be happy once again that they're not winning. Okay. So I'm not sure what that's about. But basically, um, it, it's, it's time to let go. 
so this self-worth can kick in or you can start something new with someone someone else okay you, you really gotta stop juggling it was it, i don't know if everybody thought they were gonna win it just it sounds like a, a shit ton of drama that just wasn't necessary all right so to move forward in the way you're supposed to you need to really review people's motives here i don't know if someone was was blind to a motive I'm not quite sure but it's time to let go of a wife energy and empress energy i mean a wife energy a taurus energy or a fire sign because she keeps coming in reversed and she's not happy she's not winning so i don't know if this is a money thing because i see zero love okay this is somebody who put no effort into something so uh, again i don't know if you thought the grass was greener on the other side you try to make a family dynamic work there's there's a lot of there's something going on with materialism here it's a lot of pens guys okay um and it just it didn't work this is somebody who will not change wants what they want doesn't want to be left out of a situation okay so you know, let go of what needs to be let go of. You, you've already figured something out. So let go of it so you can be triumphant. But you can't, until something's exposed, you can't move forward to new love. Whether it's somebody else or whether it's self-love. Regardless, it's like spirit, the universe, not going to let you move forward. Until you take care of what you need to take care of. It's almost like what goes around comes around in a past situation. Somebody made a bad choice. And I will tell you, it looks like there's going to be some, a big, not some, a big argument this week. Drama. Drama, drama, drama. So if this doesn't involve you, please stay out of it. Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. And enjoy this full moon. Okay. I love you guys.